Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Rob. Today what we're going to do is we're going to go into Adobe Premiere and we're going to create a simulated stop animation video. I did a little uh, unboxing video that I created for the Wireless Go from Rode and what I wanted to do was to create a stop animation or a simulated stop animation video um, for my unboxing and my review of it. So let's go into a Premiere and uh, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Premiere. We're going to just create a project. I'm going to call this uh, Rode Wireless. Wireless. Go. Stop. Animation. And I'm going to just... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring our footage in. Now I shot this on my GoPro. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna, just going to bring my GoPro footage and put it on my timeline. Um, I had a, a heck of a time opening up the box. So I had to take a couple of takes. Um, so what I'm going to do is just spend the next couple of, of minutes... Uh, going through and doing a quick edit and removing all the unwanted footage and then I will go in and show you how to use the posterized time effect to give you that stop animation. Okay, so let's fast forward through some of this. And while I'm at it, I'm going to remove the audio. So we're just going to take both these and nest them together. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to change my rotation to 180 degrees and I'm going to scale a little bit. And just do a quick scrub. Again, do a quick scrub, make sure that it all fits. So now that I have the video edited, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and um, add the posterize time effect. So you're going to go to your effects panel and you're going to type in posterize and and there's my posterize time effect i'm just going to click on it and drag it over you can see we can change the uh, frame rate it's set by default to 24 frames per second there's a little slide here we can change now what i've come across and and what i've tested is anywhere between you know three to ten frames per second it all depends on what you're trying to accomplish what your footage looks like um, how fast it's going how much movement there is so you're gonna have to test it so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start off by going down to four frames per second and I'm just going to press play and I can just see what that looks like I might have to uh, render my video here but that that looks like pretty good so I'm just gonna stop it here thanks for watching the tutorial if you liked it and it's something that you can use um, please give it a like please subscribe to the channel and if there's other people that you think that this might be useful for, uh, please share it with them and on your social media. Thanks a lot.